The way I like to start is to create a couple of folders up here. One would be sequences. I type AAA, as you can see I already started to do, so I'm going to do AAA, sequences. And the reason why I put AAA is because it'll start at the top and all the AAs will go here. And then I create another folder called video. AAA video. And then I might do AAA audio. If we're going to do really fancy stuff. And there you go. So here we got the video. We're just going to put this into the video folder. And we're going to create a new sequence now. Command N new. And we're going to call this super fast cuts only edit. All right, we've just created a sequence. We're going to double click that. And we're going to come over here and listen to Big L's audition. I usually like to set my browser with media start priority, meaning that in whatever order the files were recorded is how they're going to show up. So let's listen to what we have here, what Al is saying, and see what we can cut together. So uh, tell us about your life experience as a child and uh, growing up throughout your adult years as far as health is concerned. Well, growing up, I've always been an athlete, but I found out the hard way because my dad was a cyclist, a trained professional cyclist, right, 10 speeds. So at the age of 10, I found out... So I took it all the way up to 10 speeds and put a cut out after that. And I also cut in right after my words. So let's take a look at uh, what we need to do next. Now, all we need to do to create our first edit is just click and drag this over to the canvas. Choose Overwrite. It says, do you want to match the clip settings? Choose Yes. And there it is. It's done. We've done our first edit. And that's all you need to know to edit in Final Cut Pro. Choose Up Arrow. We'll take a listen to that. Push Space Bar to play. And here we go. Well, growing up, I've always been an athlete. But... I found out the hard way because my dad was a cyclist, a trained professional cyclist, right 10 speeds. And there you go. Alrighty, now we're going to choose another edit point. And let's uh, just kind of scroll through here and see what we can find. All right, looks like he's going to introduce a guest. Let's see how that goes. Eating habits, and I, I stayed in shape. I just keep working out, training, doing everything I can to make sure my body stayed in tip-top shape. I kind of like that. Let's just use that. Out of that profession, but I still kept my discipline. Let's start just before he says, but I still kept my discipline. Let's go in there. I got out of that profession, but I still kept my discipline. I still kept my good eating habits, and I, I stayed in shape. I just keep working out, training, doing everything I can to make sure my body stayed in tip-top shape, because you never know when you're going to need it. See this? That's me. Nice. All right, there you go. That's me. All righty. So who are you going to interview today? All right. So uh, Al's looking good. He's fit. He's got the happy glow of a healthy individual. So we're going to click and drag that once again, just very simply click into the viewer and drag it into the canvas. And there's our second clip. Let's go just a little bit before the second clip begins and see how it sounds by pushing spacebar. I ten speeds, but I still kept my discipline. I still kept my good eating habits, and I, I stayed in shape. I just keep working out, training, doing everything I can. To now you can see there's a little bit of a jump cut there, what they call. And for our purposes, we really don't need to worry about that per se. But if you want to put a little dissolve in there, you can do that. Just go to last, which was cross dissolve, or come up here to default cross dissolve. Select that, and now we got to dissolve that lasts about one second. Now here's how that looks. Right, ten speeds, but I still kept my discipline. I still kept my good eating habits, and I, I stayed in shape. I just keep working out, training, doing everything I can to make sure my body stayed in tip top shape. Because you never know when you're gonna need it. See this? That's me. Nice. All right, so we have that nice there at the end, and that's kind of funny. So I may like to pull that out, so let's just go down here to audio. Click on the audio. And a lot of times you'll have unwanted sounds, dogs barking or people playing in the background in your movie. So we can just cut out what we don't want. Let's hear all the sounds. This. That's me. And there you go. That's me. I think that's a nicer ending. So... 
Let's take a look at that. We'll put on maybe a little dissolve, Command T for dissolve, and go back to the beginning. Maybe we'll do a little dissolve there as well. Command T there, and let's play the whole video and see how it looks. Well, growing up, I've always been an athlete, but I found out the hard way because my dad was a cyclist, a trained professional cyclist, ride 10 speeds. But I still kept my discipline. I still kept my good eating habits, and I, I stayed. Now, you know, one little creative decision I might say, you can tell he's starting at a different point in the story. So rather than use this as simple cross dissolve, let's go to video transitions, dissolve, now I'm going to choose fade in and out dissolve, and that'll make it seem like it's a delay in time, a different part in the story. I did that. Oops, nothing happened. Hmm, why is that? Well, we have to select both clips by selecting right in the middle of the two clips. Now come back up to effects. You could either choose fade in and out or come down to video transitions as you prefer. Dissolve, fade in and out dissolve, select that, and there you go. Let's see how it looks. I tend to be. I still kept my discipline. I still kept my good eating habits. And I, I stayed in shape by just keep working out. And there you go. The story itself doesn't have the best continuity. It seems to jump in subject. But nonetheless, it shows you how to do the edit. We certainly could have selected a new edit point. But for the purposes of showing you how to edit, this was sufficient. At the very beginning, we just dropped in the clip that we liked. Started off with a little gross dissolve up from black. Did a fade in and out to show us a different point in time. Now, at the end of the clip, there was some audio we wanted to get rid of, and we achieved that by choosing the razor blade tool and coming over here and clicking on that. We went a little bit past this point. We have a fade out. Click here and see how that looks. And there we go. We have a happy Al fade into black. That's it. That's how you do very simple editing in Final Cut Pro. And uh, didn't take that long at all. At Angel Love, we're certainly interested in working with editors who have a passion for health and or people who may want to learn and study editing. Uh, we'd be happy to give you some training in exchange for some editing. How's that? You never know. Feel free to contact us at josephlovefilms at gmail.com for questions or comments or maybe interest in working with our company. Take care. Take care.